again. For those of you that are new here, my name is Mariah and I'm getting the vertical sleeve gastrectomy tomorrow, May 22nd, 2020. My surgeon is Dr. Scott Allen Bovard and he's with the bariatric specialist in North Carolina at Wake Med. <sighs> here it is. It's kind of crazy. It felt like it would never come and now it is coming and it's kind of a little bit surreal. I'm excited, I'm nervous, but I know that I'm in good hands. I have a good team and it'll be okay. I kind of wanted to talk about the tail end of my pre-op diet and how that went. So this past week I've been on full liquid. So five protein shakes a day and at least 64 ounces of hydration fluids a day. I had a goal, a personal goal to exceed that fluid goal uh, I wanted to get at least 100 ounces a day, but I shot for a gallon, which is 128 ounces. I got this water bottle from Target. It's just a 32 ounce uh, chug top camelback. So I try to have four of these a day and I wanted to go ahead and get used to drinking without straws since we're not supposed to use them post-surgery. And it's going pretty well. I tried to shoot for one of these in between my protein shakes in the morning. So like protein shake, bottle of water, protein shake, bottle of water, protein shake, bottle of water. And then between the last two, I have like a flavor drink at the end of the day that I do like 16 ounces in between or something. Um, just to kind of not have as many potty breaks in the middle of the night. Um, but yeah, I went pretty well. I made this spread that I kept track of my drinking and like what time I had my shakes, um, about two and a half to three hours apart. It wasn't easy, but it went well. I feel like I had good mental fortitude and stuck with it, with it pretty well. I had an appointment with a nutritionist on Monday, which was fun. She was really, really nice and it just helped keep things in perspective. But I took notes every day and the beginning of the week was definitely harder. I I started the full liquid diet on Friday the 15th and my family was all, you know, it's a Friday night. They got tacos and pizza, like they all did their different things. But it was hard because like I just felt left out a little bit. Like I, um, my family... My mom's uncle owns a taco place nearby and it has like really nice stuff. And they just started selling burritos too. And it just sounded really yummy. And I just, you know, there's, for my whole life, I've had a social and emotional aspect tied to food. And this pre-op diet really forces me to realize like that can't be a thing anymore. It needs to stop. So it's, it's good, but it's not easy. It's a, it's a mind game. Because my body is getting enough protein, it's fine. But I feel very deprived because of that social aspect. Um, but I will say, like, I'm really grateful for the mindset I do have. Because I feel like if I tried to do this a year ago, I would not have been able to. Um, but I know that this is what I need to do to make my life how I want it to be. And I know that this is kind of my last chance to really get it there. I have a degree in animal science and I want to work with horses and train horses and be at nice fancy show barns. And honestly, at the weight I've been at, I'm not able to do that. I don't have the balance. I don't have um, the ability to ride young, small horses, you know? So I want to be able to do that for myself. Um, so yeah little bit rambly but mind over matter distract yourself I again sipping the water in between shakes really helps curb the cravings because you feel pretty full when you're full of water it's not the same obviously but it helps and then having gum sugar-free gum helped me I know we're not supposed to have gum after surgery but after surgery we'll have our little superpower toolkit I'm not really feeling hungry so I'm not too worried about that um but yeah, the water drinking really helps and then finding a way to distract yourself. I got Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch. That's been really fun. I've just been 
playing that a lot when my family's cooking or eating to try to just not think about it. Um, so yeah, that's basically how the pre-op diet went. I think it's really important to have support of people. And I think it's really important to just remove yourself from the situation. Like if you're craving what everyone else around you is eating, if it smells good, leave the house, step out, go, go to a different room. Like you don't need to be around that. You don't need to torture yourself there. It's been a little hard because my parents work full time right now from home due to COVID. And so I am having to help cook and stuff for my little brother every now and then. But it's really not too bad because it's not like I'll never be able to eat anything like that again. It'll have to be in small quantities and not very often. But like this is not about depriving myself. This is about setting myself up for success. This is about giving myself the life I want and taking my care, care of myself the way I want to. So when I think about it that way, it's really not tempting. It's realizing I am already doing what I need to do for my body and so I'm okay. So tomorrow's surgery. I have to be at the hospital at 11 a.m. Surgery is at 1 p.m. tentatively. And so tonight I have a few things to get ready. I need to take my CPAP machine with me to the hospital, clear protein. I got Premier Protein and Peach Flavor, but I also got some sugar-free drink packets that I like. Um, and they said that the hospital will have like Crystal Light packets as well. Um, I need to bring comfy walking shoes, which I think I'm just gonna bring my Birkenstocks because I really like them, they're comfortable. Um, just to walk around. I met with the, like I said, I met with a nutritionist and she talked about the importance of making sure you are getting up and walking and how they're going to really push me to do that and how it helps speed recovery and just get things moving and get help speed up the um, getting discharged from the hospital. So I definitely want to be good about that. My mom, she's able to come with me, which I'm really grateful for, but She's only allowed to stay for the first 24 hours. So I'm really hoping I don't end up having to stay two nights because I don't want to be there by myself. But if I have to, obviously it won't be the end of the world. I also bought antibacterial soap that I need to shower with before going to the hospital. And they just said to bring comfortable clothes um, to wear when I get discharged, but I'm also, I can wear just the gowns while I'm there. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing to make sure you have before you try to do any of this stuff is the right mindset. I've joined a couple um, support groups and it just makes me sad when I see people that are struggling and it's it's not like I'm not I'm not I'm not saying I won't struggle. I definitely I'm I'm sure I will at various times, but just ones that are like worried about how their family will treat them differently or how their family will react like the end of the day, you need to do this for yourself. I'm doing this for myself. Like, I know it'll change some things and I th most of the changes will be positive. I'm sure there'll be things that'll struggle, I'll struggle with, but I'm just grateful for the end result. I'm grateful to have a happy and healthy life ahead of me. Um, so I made this for surgery day to keep track of what I drink. Um, I, it's basically just a paper that my nutritionist gave me, but I made my own chart and my bullet journal to keep everything in one place. Um, but it has the time of day, liquid type, volume, and notes. Um, you're supposed to do like each hour you break into 15 minute segments and the first 15 minutes of the hour you want to get one to two ounces of your protein fluid in and then one to two ounces of hydration for their other quarters. Um, so I just made this to help keep track of that. And then I said, it's finally here. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. And then I put bullets of what I'm, what I'm doing this for. A healthy family, a fulfilling career, healthy pregnancies, because I'm baby hungry. I've been baby hungry for a couple years. Um, me and my husband are excited to start a family once I'm at a good weight and maintaining, and that would be healthy to do. And then a life that I love, bottom line. I love roller coasters. I love riding horses. I love spending a lot of time with my family and my family really likes to be outdoorsy and do stuff and I just want to be able to do that and feel comfortable. I made a list in my journal um, of non-scale victories that I'm excited for and I'll have to share some of those at a later date. I might have shared some of those in an earlier vlog but it's been a while since those were recorded so I can't really remember. Um, but I'm just, I'm excited. I'm hopeful. I can already feel a difference. My husband says that I 
feels smaller when he hugs me. My dad says that he can tell my face is thinning out a little bit. I, I mean, I've already lost 13 pounds on this pre-op diet. Maybe, maybe closer to 15. I didn't get to weigh myself today. Um, and who knows tomorrow, like by tomorrow I could have lost more. So it's usually been about a pound a day that I've lost, which is exciting. I'm just really grateful. I'm really excited. It's not easy, but it's worth it when you really want this for yourself. And that's what's important. It's for you. And just remember that. Bye.